Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video. So today what we're going to be doing is going over the six brawlers in Brawl Stars that I believe need a buff or a rework. Now we're going to be playing with Sans and Rags. Big shout out to them. Their Twitter is going to be in the description below. But with that being said, let's hop into the games and let's get right into it. So hopping into the first game, the first brawler that we're going to go over is Primo. Now Primo is probably the worst brawler in the game and that sucks because Primo is one of the most fun brawlers in all of Brawl Stars. Now, Primo is maybe only good in Brawl Ball, and that's kind of stretching it. Once especially you reach high trophies, Primo is essentially useless. Now, obviously, good players can make things work anywhere, but for the average player, I really wouldn't recommend running Primo literally anywhere outside of Brawl Ball, and even in Brawl Ball, it's going to be a little bit tough. Primo just isn't that good. The star powers aren't that good, and the gadgets aren't that good. If I were to buff anything for the Primo, it might be the movement speed and give them very fast movement speed, something like Colt or Max when they're walking just so he can get to his opponents a little bit faster. Um, if not, I would give his super a little bit more damage or his punches some more damage or even give him a little bit more health. But as of right now, he's basically just like a walking supercharge. He's basically useless in every single mode outside of one. And I really, really think this brawler needs a buff in some type of way because Primo has been bad for a very long time and being one of the more fun brawlers in the game, we would love to see Primo being good. So that being said, that is going to be our first brawler that needs a rework and a buff. Definitely the worst brawler in the game. But with that being said, let's hop over into the next game and keep going on the brawlers. Now hopping into the next game, we're going to be covering Amber. Now Amber is somewhere hovering around the top 10 worst brawlers in the game list. Now Amber isn't actually really that bad at anything. It can be used in a lot of different modes. It's about B or C tier in a lot of different modes, but that's why I think it needs a little bit of a rework. I don't necessarily think it needs a buff and believe me, I am much, much happier with where Amber is right now than where it used to be. But with that being said, I would like to see Amber being actually viable somewhere instead of just being kind of below mid tier on every single mode. I like it when brawlers, for example, Piper are really good in some situations or mode. For example, Piper is really good in bounty on those long range maps. And then it has its obvious weaknesses. I prefer Amber would have something that's a really good strength and then have a weakness. So maybe nerf the HP a little bit, give it some more damage, maybe give it some more HP and less damage, whatever it is. I think it needs a little bit of a rework because with Amber right now, I think it's just going to be a middle brawler, a slightly below middle brawler, or just the most broken brawler in the game. And I think that's the only three places where Amber is going to be. So a rework would be really nice for Amber, maybe even a little bit of a super or gadget rework. But that's why I think Amber needs a change. Let's hop over into the next game and let's keep things going. Now hopping into the next game, the next brawler that definitely needs a buff is going to be Shelly. Specifically, PSG Clay Pigeon Shelly. Worst brawler in the game easily. I don't care what Spen says. But all jokes aside, Spen, um, Shelly's not a good brawler. It's really bad and it really does need a rework. Now there was a Band-Aid meta where Shelly was the best brawler in the game. And I don't want something like that because that is just no fun. But the gadgets that Shelly has is pretty basic. The dash that it has is basically the same as something like Max or Surge, except 10 times worse. Isn't nearly as good as the other ones. The super is the only good thing that Shelly has. Shelly really doesn't have that range. Really doesn't have anything good to her. And it, the super really only is good if you have the stun. If you don't have the stun and you're using clay pigeons, I mean, clay pigeons can be useful at times. But the stun is what makes the super good. And without it, I just think Shelly's not really that good at anything. Just like Primo, I would only really ever run it in Brawl Ball, maybe on some like present plunder maps, but there are definitely way better options 100%. Shelly just isn't the move really anywhere. The gadget is super simple. The super needs a gadget for it to be semi-useful. And it's just not good anywhere. For a rework, I'd probably give it a little bit more HP. It currently has 5.3 thousand. I might give it 6 thousand so it can be a little bit tankier. Just make its way to your opponent a little bit easier because right now it's a little bit too squishy and just gets taken out a little bit too easily for my liking. I don't want Shelly to be the super OP brawler, but for, but it definitely should be a decent brawler considering it's the one brawler in the game that absolutely everyone has. It should be something like mid tier. And I think if it has a little bit more HP, it would be really good and just like a really average overall good brawler. So with that being said, again, let's hop into the next brawler and let's keep this list going. So hopping onto the next brawler, we're going to have Leon. Now again, it's been a really long time since Leon's been meta. It might have actually been 2018, maybe early 2019, the last time Leon was meta in 3v3. Now, the super is obviously really good since you go invisible, and the star powers actually help out the super a lot, and I think it's really good, and I think the star powers should not be touched at all. 
Now with Leon, something that I would like to see and something that could make the brawler absolutely perfect is a really nice second gadget. Now I don't have any ideas for what that second gadget should be, so I want to I want to know what you guys think would be a really nice second gadget for Leon. Something that doesn't absolutely break it in Showdown, because again we don't want Leon dominating Showdown like it used to, but something that makes it a lot more usable in 3v3. I think the issue with Leon in 3v3 is that if you're lucky you're going to be able to win lane and then you're going to be able to use your super to win your lane again, but if that's like the kind of the max that you go. With Brock you can team wipe, with Piper you can get a couple snipes in, with B you obviously have that gadget etc. All the brawlers kind of have an uprising or a really big W when they get a kill. With Leon you kind of get a kill and you're just going to be low at HP, regen and try and do the same thing. You don't really gain anything from getting that kill outside of you know getting that kill. Um, so I really want a second gadget that's going to be useful, something that makes Leon just more viable in 3v3. Again, I don't really know what it is. I think all the stats are perfect as they are. The super and the star powers are absolutely perfect. They go hand in hand with each other. I would just like something that's more rewarding for Leon when we get a kill. But I don't know what that is. So again, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think that should be with the second gadget. But with that being said, we got two brawlers left on the list. So let's keep going and let's hop into the final two. Hopping into the next game, we have BB. Now BB, it's been a little bit of a while since BB's been meta. And BB's had two different metas, so I can't really complain, even though I really enjoy playing BB. Um, the speed BB meta was really fun, and then the shield BB meta was a little bit annoying, but also really fun. Now, the reason BB hasn't been meta is because these range brawlers have been absolutely dominating Brawl Stars for the last, like, six months. Brawlers like B, Sprout when it was meta, now Colt, Ed or no, I was about to say Edgar, Byron are really really good and obviously all of them tank BB because they all have a ton more range when the meta changes up and gets a little bit more close range I think we should see BB somewhere in that mix of top 10 brawlers but as it stands right now it is not even close to that the issue with BB is just it doesn't have enough HP to make its way forward for the amount of range it has kind of like how Edgar doesn't have enough HP and it's useless when it doesn't have super when it does get that super you're able to jump onto someone with BB you're basically making a trade. You're saying, okay, I can either have speed, which is gonna allow me to get to my opponents easier, but I'm not gonna have that HP to kind of get there, or I'm gonna have shield, which is gonna give me a ton of HP, but I'm not gonna be fast enough or able enough to be able to get onto the opposing brawler. Now, obviously, sometimes you can make it work, um, and it's not just like you're never gonna be able to get a kill with BB, but it's just really hard, and it shouldn't really be that hard to get a kill with BB especially considering it's supposed to be a pretty good brawler. Um, with BB, I don't know exactly what I would change. I like the gadget, I like the HP and the star powers. What I would probably do is increase the movement speed a little bit. If they can find a movement speed in between fast and very fast, I think that would be perfect for brawlers like Primo or BB. Brawlers that just struggle to get to their opponents. Because like I said, with Edgar, you can just jump on them if need be. But with BB, you cannot do that. You have to walk up there either slow or fast and make your way. But that's going to be BB, so we probably need a second gadget with BB that's just going to allow you to get to your opponents quicker. Maybe a little bit of a speed boost, so that you can use shield, and while having that shield, you can have your speed boost. But with that being said, we're going to hop over into our final brawler, so let's get into it. And let's show you guys what it is. So coming in in our sixth and final slot for a brawler that needs a rework or a buff is going to be Bo. Now, Bo is actually one of my favorite brawlers of all time, believe it or not because of how well-rounded it is. It's not really that weak at anything and not really that good at anything, kind of like how we described Amber earlier, but I think just a little bit better than Amber because it has the mines. Now with Bo, the only thing I would really switch is make it a little bit weak in one area and a little bit stronger in another. So maybe keep the HP the same and just give it a little bit more damage. Maybe keep uh, lower the HP a lot and raise the damage a good bit so that the, each uh, bow shot does like 900 if you're at max, or maybe lower the damage and give it more health. I really don't know, but I really want to see Bo excel in one type of category, whether that be damage or HP or anything, because right now it's kind of a mid-tier brawler, and the only reason anyone ever uses it is really in Snake Prairie to just charge Nani Super, and you kind of just stand there and are useless for the rest of the game. But I would really like to see a rework either way. Um, just a small stat rework, don't really need anything major like with some other brawlers. But with that being said, that's going to be a little quick one because Bo, I really don't think, needs a rework as much as the other five. But it would be nice to see one. But anyways, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. And if you guys did, obviously, as I say every single video, comment, like, subscribe. You guys already know the three W's right there. But that is going to be it for my video today. I will catch you guys again tomorrow. I will see you guys then. Peace.